Yo, what is up, you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be explaining why or why not you should buy a PC and is it worth it? Let's go. In 2024, we have all probably seen or heard of the PS5 or Xbox One X. But is a PC worth spending the hundreds, if not thousands more? Well, first things first, if you have already a console of any sort and have fun playing games on it and are not trying to become pro in an FPS-based game like Fortnite or Overwatch, then I'm already going to say you do not need to buy a PC because in the end, we all just want to have some fun. And even if you're on the Nintendo Switch barely playing Fortnite on 30 FPS, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. On the other hand, if you want to play competitive games like Fortnite or Overwatch, buying a PC is so worth it. I was on 60F my whole first chapter of Fortnite. I could play pretty well, and I was better than the average player. Being able to hit Elite, no problem, and Champion when Arenas was out, easy. But as soon as I switched over to PC, the FPS went from 60 to 360 being my end game cap. In creative, my end game cap was now 800. When I first got my PC, I tried 240 FPS. For most people who play Fortnite, they know of the quad edit. I tried doing an edit course that started with a quad edit, and I got it first try. Being on such a high FPS made my sensitivity feel faster. It was so smooth. So with that being said, if you're a competitive gamer, you should definitely invest in a PC because, I mean, I was able to do one of the most intense edit courses first try just from changing my FPS. I'd never been able to do it before, like, smoothly. And I just did it first try. I mean, that, I'm just saying, guys, like, the, the PC literally made me a better player. And I didn't even have to practice with the PC. Like, I was just instantly better. Like, it is so good, guys. Trust me. Like, if you were in Platinum, you're officially in Diamond because of a PC. Like, that's, that's just how it works. It is so good, you guys. Trust me. Another reason I would recommend buying a PC is because of all the free and cost PC games that are exclusive to only PC. One of the first games that I tried was Valorant on my best friend's PC. About one year before I got my PC, I tried it, and it's one of the main reasons I got a PC because Valorant was just such a fun game. I loved it. He didn't have a fancy PC or anything, but it was something new, fresh, and a lot of fun. And so... That is one of the big reasons I bought a PC is like, I was just like, dude, I have to play Valorant. I mean, it's such a fun game. It might be my new thing if I ever get a PC. And so definitely wanted to do that. Another reason I got my PC is to just try a bunch of the other PC games. One of them that I ended up trying that is like up there with Fortnite now is CSGO. This game hits so hard, you guys. I mean, it is PC exclusive. You can't play it on the Xbox or any console, so... Having CSGO changed my life, man. I mean, I love that game so much. It's so much fun. And for any of you that love any of the other PC games or you've seen people, like your favorite streamers play it, trust me, guys, these games are so much fun. And there are thousands of them to choose from. Not just CSGO, not just Valorant, but those are my two ones that I definitely recommend trying out if you haven't already had a PC. But, yeah, PC games, PC exclusive games, man, 10 out of 10. They're all amazing, and it's a lot of fun. Another big factor that comes into buying a PC that turns most people away is the price. PCs are expensive and personally I would not recommend going any lower than a whopping $800 on the PC. However, if you want that 800 FPS I was talking about, my PC was $2,300 and has a 4070 for the graphics card and a Ryzen 9 7900X for the CPU. So it's pretty beefed up for you, those of you that know. And for those of you that don't have that kind of money, I will shortly be making a video of how I personally would spend a budget of $1,300 on the best PC yet that you can get for all around 300 FPS in-game in Fortnite. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. But obviously not everyone just got $800 laying around. And so if you don't got that kind of money, I would just recommend sticking to the console because, I mean, PS5, Xbox One X, hey, they both come with... 120 FPS. Let me tell you guys, I have done like videos and stuff where I have used 120 FPS and it's very playable. I don't think you go pro on it, but it is definitely very fun. Game's very smooth and consoles always have good graphics, man. So unlike me, you don't have to turn my graphics all the way down to get 800 FPS, but instead you can have your graphics all the way up, still get 120. Even though I can do that and get 240, but pretty much what I'm saying, guys, if you don't have a thousand or eight hundred dollars just laying around. Just get a console, man. Trust me. I mean, 
Xbox One X, PS5, they're both great for $500. And there's not a PC in the world that are, that'll match up to that for $500. So, if $500 is all you got, get a console. But for now, boys, that is all. Those are reasons why I would or would not buy a PC. It's all personal, but I have one, and I would not refund it for double the price. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to smash the like button. And if you loved the video, make sure to subscribe for more bangers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.